Hello, what's up, man? Happy, happy uh, Friday. It's Friday, isn't it? Happy Friday, everyone. Um, just another day in paradise, man. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna finish this drawing. I gotta finish this drawing. Um, I'm almost done. I don't know what I'm gonna do after I finish it, actually, because uh, I don't have any more pages to draw or images to draw on this image uh, from this page. I might have to change pages, which is gonna be kind of weird and a, and a video, but I think that's what I have to do. Well, uh, I'm doing a, a video a little bit later. I I slept in and uh, well, I'm gonna regret. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna regret it, but like I'm gonna regret regret. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna regret it. Uh, I slept in and now I'm doing everything so 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 late, and um, I didn't get. I, I well, I got everything done. I got everything done, but like everything is done at like a, a delayed time frame. Which is why I do, I'm doing this video so late. Usually I do my video, I do a little recording in the morning, but I just didn't. I just didn't get to it. Well, well, I could have gotten to it. I woke up I, like I, I hit the I, I the alarm rang at five o'clock, but like I, as I've said it in pat in the past, I just started hitting the snooze button. Just started hitting that snooze button, man, and pretty soon five o'clock became like six forty-five. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to be able to make it. Uh, let's just let's just go to back to bed, <laughs> you know, and I just slept in. I slept in and it was glorious. It was glorious. The, the, the problem with that, though, man, is like sometimes when I do that, like everything, everything I do have to like everything I want to do throughout the day is either pushed off to the next day or delayed by like three to five hours. And. Um, when you are uh, kind of running on on a very razor thin schedule, it becomes very difficult to to organize your day, you know, and to do um, well. Basically, it just becomes difficult. That's all all uh, um, I have to say about that. And um, I uh, just am thankful that I'm here doing a little video and getting a little bit of drawing in, and I'm happy that I'm gonna possibly get this drawing done and then I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do another page and then another and then another what's it called like wash rinse repeat that's essentially what I do is like you just kind of wash and rinse and then repeat and that's pretty much anything that you want to do like I was I was having a conversation and I was I was saying um that uh, to another person that when you do small things over and over and over again, you accomplish big things in time. And with something like this, where you're, you're drawing every day and you do a small thing like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, but you do it every day over and over and over again big things come from that. Like it could be in this instance, you get a lot of growth as an artist, right? You improve as an artist. Maybe it, it what, what I was referring to was with, with like, um, housework and house repairs and, and doing small things, you can ach achieve big things in time, you know, and oftentimes we want the big thing to happen immediately, right? And it, I wish, I wish I had like case studies where that happens, right? Where you like, well, I just, I drew for 30 minutes and man, uh, I landed a gig uh, working for Disney or Marvel Comics. Can you believe it? I drew for 30 minutes. I became an, a professional comic artist in, in no time. Right. Or or I started doing uh, c concept art for Blizzard or Pixar. Right. Uh, no, no, it just doesn't happen that way. Right. And that's that's just how it is. But in in like in this environment, in this in the in the world of Internet, we, we are we're skewed. We're skewed. We, we get this like this. Like we're we're kind of spoiled in this idea that oh everything happens quickly you know um i was once 
someone from work once quoted this, and I think it's pretty, I think it could lay true. It takes like five years to become an overnight success, you know? And like, you're you're out there grinding, laying out the groundwork, you're drawing, you're doing whatever you're doing, and all, out, of, out of nowhere, you, you're like amazing at drawing or you're, you've uh, landed some, some high caliber positions or some high caliber commissions or jobs. And everyone's like, how'd you do that? you you must be lucky. And then the reality is, no, this person was like drawing or working day in, day out over and over again. And then out, out of like the sheer volume that like that person came through the weeds through the thicket of the, the, like the came through the, the, the edge of the forest and and was triumphant and we often think that oh it's because of their talent oh it's because they got lucky and maybe that might account for like one to ten percent of it but it's we never want to account for like this person was tunnel vision just working day in day out building up a skill and and that's what got them to be successful or to achieve some sort of growth, right? And I'm not referring just to like monetary success. I'm like maybe referring to like this person went from a, a dud to a stud in their in their art, in their music, in their writing, and has has uh, um, garnered a a following and or a a uh, um, respect among his peers that. He didn't. He or she did not have years ago, and it didn't come out of nowhere. It came out of just day in, day in, day out, showing up and doing these small little things, those small little things. And I know it can be like arduous, mundane, boring, and and kind of almost just like repetitive, you know. And we look at that as if it's like a bad thing, like, oh, that's so boring. We have to do this every day, forever, you know? And maybe, like, on paper, it sounds boring, you know? Because it sounds like, oh, you're you're making yourself out to be a robot, right? But you're really not. You're, you're, you're committing to something, right? And you're practicing your craft. And you're just you're just committed to an outcome, right? And we all and like we think that's that's a bad thing sometimes, and it's not, man. Just uh, um, focusing on something, little things that you do can either work in positive or negative, right? Like, like case in point, when I woke woke up late, or I hit the snooze button, it worked in the negative for me because. I um, I end up I ended up having to do a live uh, uh, not a live a recording later on, or I ended up doing my drawing, my practicing my drawing later on, right? And now here I am doing things at a much later time frame than I had anticipated, and it's not necessarily it's not a convenient time frame. It's like I'm behind schedule, and here I am doing things late. Right, so this worked in the negative for me. I'm thankful that I was able to at least um, get my drawing in and to set aside, set aside a little bit of time to work on my drawing and, and to create a little video. But man, it almost didn't happen. Like it was, it almost did not happen. I really did not think I'd be able to do it uh, because I was I was almost thinking that I would be doing this 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 video at like 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night. And um, I am very thankful that I was able to manage my time or find a, a, a small 10 minute opening to work, to get a little bit of drawing in and to record this short little video. Anyways, that is it. I just wanna talk about that little small little tidbit. Remember, small things done through time will equal big things. All right, y'all rock. Cheers, my friends.